Thank you for coming by my office, uh, and we had a nice uh, visit. I let you know that back uh, way back, I had the opportunity to teach also while trying to put out a newspaper on the west side of Phoenix, not Kansas, but Phoenix. But at any rate, um, I know you fully understand a one-size-fits-all education system just does not work. You just said that in your testimony. And I told you that I held a roundtable discussion in Kansas at Washburn University in Topeka with 12 college presidents. We've got all of them ex except a few. And 12 business stakeholders, very important to those universities, to discuss higher education and workforce development given the fact that we are going to attempt to pass a higher education bill. In particular, I heard from the higher education leaders about the impact of federal programs, obviously, policies, obviously, but more especially regulations on Kansas institutions of higher education. During our meeting last month in my office, I shared with you an information chart. Uh, I need a bigger chart. It's like the guy who said he needed a bigger boat with a shark uh, coming after him. Maybe that's a not a proper allegory, but at any rate, th th these are 34 topics or areas of federal regulation. Some of them very, very, very important. But the collective judgment was that they were so intrusive, so expensive, so time consuming that they had to get an office of compliance just to look at the federal regulations and then they assigned bad news bears to go tell all the various departments that make up the uh, Johnson County Community College, which, by the way, has the highest enrollment of any college or university in Kansas, more than the Jayhawks, more than the Wildcats, and more than the Shockers. And these 34 areas of federal regulation, so costly and impactful to the school, basically indicate that we need to work together to eliminate many of these burdensome regulations that hinder the institutions of higher education's main goal to educate our students effectively and efficiently. So, as you know, I think everybody, and I think I would have agreement on the other side of the dais as well, regulations are one of the key areas this committee will focus on as we work on reauthorization of the Higher Education Act. Will you be a partner in addressing many of these time-consuming regulations? Senator, thanks for that question, and thanks for the meeting in your office. I appreciate seeing the chart again. As I'm a visual learner, I really appreciate that one in particular. But yes, I can commit to you that if confirmed, I will look forward to working with you and uh, this committee on uh, that act and on the regulations that you've referred to and, and uh, wanting to help free our institutions of higher learning to the greatest extent possible to do what they do best. Now, being an odd an ombudsman for Kansas education, along with my fellow senator, it's tough when you try to go directly uh, to the person who is in charge of that department, namely you. And I tried that before sitting down across from President Obama and complaining about regulation to learn of his uh, executive order to make sure every department uh, ascribed to the, a, a cost-benefit uh, uh, yardstick, if you will, uh, that didn't happen. Uh, the person in charge that was supposed to get back to me was his top gun, his right arm, Dennis. Dennis was in charge of war and peace and other things. I'm going to recommend that maybe I ought to do it regionally. Obviously, we've had uh, people from rural areas, urban areas. It's going to be terribly important that we get to somebody that can actually see the problem, report back to you or to uh, somebody else in your department. You can't do all this. I don't know anybody that can. But at least when we have a real problem, uh, with the 12 universities, or for that matter, five or six, or even one, and saying, hey, here's a regulation that just doesn't make sense. Uh, can we at least address it? Maybe we can tweak it, maybe we can get rid of it, uh, or maybe we can do better. So I hope that you can work out some kind of um, um, SWAT team, if you will, with regards to over-regulation. 
because that really was the number one issue that I heard. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. I, I think that sounds like a great idea.